Now we can view the results of our solution. Select total deformation under static structural. This deformation doesn't take any buckling into account. It is simply the deformation due to the compression of the column. It is not an accurate representation of the deformation that would happen to a column such as this. Next we want to see the linear buckling results. Click on total deformation under linear buckling. And we see that this deformation is very different from the deformation under static structural and this is in fact more realistic as to what would happen to a column. The linear buckling analysis finds the critical buckling load. Remember that we only applied a one newton force to the top. To see the critical buckling load, click on total deformation. In the details window, under results, the load multiplier tells us what the critical buckling load is. That's why we used a one newton force. One newton times the load multiplier gives us our critical buckling load. Therefore, the load multiplier is our critical buckling load.